61A lecture number three, announcements. Homework one is due on Wednesday. It's graded on effort, but you should try hard to get the answers. You'll learn much more from these questions if you're able to solve them, and if you're able to understand what the answers mean and how to arrive at them. In order to help you out, there will be office hours all week, the link's right here, a homework party which gives extended evening office hours from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with extra staff in B6 Evans, and if you go to lab this week and you have a little bit of extra time at your lab section, that's a great time to ask questions about homework. You can ask your teaching assistant or any of the lab assistants who are in the room. Quiz 1 is released on Wednesday and will be due on Friday. A quiz has exactly the same format as a homework. You start out with a bunch of questions and a bunch of function stubs, and you fill in the implementations, and you do get to check your work, just like in a homework. However, it's graded on correctness out of three points. If you score a zero out of three, you'll have to talk to someone on the course staff just to receive advice about how to approach the course and to make sure that 61A is the right course for you. Don't panic. Lots of people have gotten zero out of three and gone on to do fine in the course. However, it's an important check to see how you're doing so far. Getting zero out of three usually means that something about your approach to the course needs to change, and it's better to change it at the beginning than the end. The quiz is open computer. You can use the Python interpreter, watch course videos, read the textbook, any of that is fine, but you cannot talk to your classmates or search the web for answers to the specific questions that uh, we ask. In addition, Project 1 is released this week. It's due next Thursday. However, if you turn it in a day early, you can get an extra credit point. Finally, mark your calendars, because midterm one is coming up on Wednesday the 16th. We hold midterms in the evenings to give you more time to answer the questions. So we hold this midterm from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. The locations around campus, topics, and review materials will be announced later. Just wait. Um, there will be no lecture that day, so that I give you a little bit of extra time just to sleep in or prepare or whatever. And there's also no discussion on the following two days so that we can grade your exams. As I mentioned last time, attending lab and discussion sections gives you a little bit of safety net on your midterm score so that if things go poorly, you get a few points back. If things go well, you, then attendance doesn't matter at all for your final grade. Homework is due soon. Lab Zero was released last week, and most people have completed it already. If you haven't completed it, you are actually already behind in this course. Go do it right now.